to Lisa from Echo Yoga. It's lovely to see you again this week. I hope you've been enjoying the last couple of yoga classes that we've done. And I hope that everybody else in your house is joining in with you as well. So um, the, the class is for everybody, whether it's for family members, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, or any support workers that are with you, make sure you get them to join in as well because you know that they do join in with us sometimes in classes on a Wednesday. So they're definitely welcome to get in with us today. And today I thought we would do some work on um, our head, our neck, and the muscles in our face, and some work on our toes and our feet, because we don't do much work on those apart from standing on them, and um, making them do lots of walking. But today we're going to get um, some work wiggling our toes and um, working with um, your toes holding on to things as well. So before we start, if you want to find a tennis ball um, or um, something nice and squidgy like um, a pom-pom or an, a knitted or handmade little cushion or a little toy. I'll show you what I've got. I have found in my house, believe it or not, a squeaky duck and some sort of squidgy Michelin man. I think you have to be a certain age to remember these, um, but they're very useful for being able to pick up with your toes they're just the right size so find something nice and small um, pause the video if you need to and then come back to it and restart it when you're ready and you've got the items that you need okay so let's start off with some breathing exercises so move back so you can see me properly and today we're going to do some breath um, imagining that we've got a little feather sitting on our hand. I want you to curl up your hand and as you uncurl your, your fist, I want you to blow a long, slow breath. Then curl the hand back up again. Big breath in through your nose or your mouth and then breathe it out through the mouth, blow that feather away. And we'll do that once more. Curling up your fingers. Inhale, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, uncurl those fingers. Long, slow breath, well done. So let's do it on the other hand as well. Don't want the other side to feel left out. So we clench our fist on the other hand. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, and curl a hand and blow. So we're imagining that we're blowing that feather away and it's just flying and flying away. Once more, curling up the fingers, breathing in and then uncurl and blow. One more time, curling up your hand. Breathing in, and curl those fingers. Long, slow breath. Well done. And give those hands a bit of a, a bit of a shake. So we're going to work first of all on our head and our neck. So we'll start off first of all just by turning our head from side to side. Okay. Each way, nice and gentle. Slow movements, okay. Not fast, nice and slow. And then back to the middle. And then we're gonna put the head to the side. So we're tilting our ear to our shoulder. So we're stretching the neck here. 
and then bring our hand and just rest it on the head. We don't want to pull our head, we just rest in the hand on the head. And that just gives the head a little bit of weight. So it will stretch that a little bit more. Well done, everyone. And then let that go. Bring your head back up to the middle and we'll do the other side. So then the other hand comes up, just rest it there. So you can feel all that stretching all the way down there. And then let that go and come back up to the middle. Well done. So connected to our head and our neck are our shoulders. So we're going to give our shoulders a bit of release of tension. So let's roll those shoulders a little bit. Oh, I might have crunching today. I don't know about yours, but they're definitely crunching away and then the other way. Ooh, and if you want to, you can do the chicken wings. It's up to you. Well done, everyone. And then come back to the middle. Give those hands a real shake. Okay. So then, we're going to work on our face, okay? And we're going to squeeze all the muscles in our face, first of all. So we're going to scrunch our face up. We're going to do that three times, okay? So we need to squeeze your face. Really make a horrible face. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then let it go. Oh, open those eyes wide. And we'll do it once more. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then let it go. Open those eyes wide. Well done. One more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then let it go. Well done, everyone. Oh, how does that feel? Okay. So we're going to work on our eyes as well. Because our eye muscles, we don't use that much. So we're going to... Um, make a circle or follow a circle in our eyes, okay? So we're going to turn our eyes as if we're following a clock, okay? So I'm, I'm just showing you how we're going to go. So we're going to fo sort of follow my finger. So, we go so we're going to go round both your eyes, following it round. So it's as if we're heading to six on the clock. And then we're coming up the other side to nine o'clock and then up to 12. And then we're going to go the other way. So we're going to follow, follow my finger with your eyes and come all the way around. I'm following my finger as well. So we're really following that. Big circle, coming all the way back up to 12 o'clock. Well done. And then give your eyes a squeeze and open them wide. Do that again. Eyes squeeze and open them wide. And once more, big squeeze and open them wide. I'm so glad I can't see me. You lot must be laughing out there. And then we're going to work on our mouth. So let's see if we can make some really wide, wide mouth movements. So it's really open our mouths wide, open our eyes wide. Really stretch those muscles. Well done. Brilliant stuff, everyone. Fabulous. Just give it in your face, gentle tap. Just a gentle. Tap your nose, tap your forehead, gentle taps. Brilliant stuff, well done. Okay, so let's come onto our toes. I'm just gonna move a bit further back for you so that you can see my feet. That's the thing when I'm at the, on a video, I can't show you my feet properly. So I'm gonna stand up, okay? So that you can see my feet. Now, if you're on the chair, that's fine. Just make sure your feet are flat on the floor. But if you are 
Um, standing up like me, brilliant, okay? I know you're missing my head, but that's fine. Because all I want you to concentrate on is my feet at the moment. And first of all, all that we're going to do is rock from our toes back to our heels. Okay, let's do it this way. Up on your toes and down to your heels. See if you lift your toes up a little bit. The front. Up on your toes. And then down onto the heels. So what we're doing is we're moving our body weight so we're getting a bit of balance. We're seeing how our feet manage balance as we move our body weight. This is a really good exercise for those for those toes. And one more. Lovely. Come back down. Well done. So give those legs a little bit of a bit of a shake. Fantastic. Okay. So next for our toes is we're going to lift our toes off the floor. So if you lift all your toes off the floor and then put them down. Lift them up. Oh. That's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one, this is. And then put them down. Well done if you're if you're doing this. You've got some really good muscles and tendons working in your toes. And then put them back down. Right then. Now we'll make it a bit tougher and see if you can lift your toes up and then put your toes down one at a time. I can't, okay? I can't. I know some wonderful yoga teachers who can, but I can't. So lift your toes up and let's see if you can put them down one at a time. This takes lots of control over these toes. And mine don't listen to me. So hopefully, hopefully your toes are listening to, your, to you. But give it a go. Well done. Well done for trying everyone. And if you've managed to do that, brilliant. Let's give your toes a wiggle. Or give your legs and your feet a wiggle. That's it. Give them all a, a really good shake. Okay. Right. So we're going to do a... I'll move a little bit further back so you can't see me. We're going to stand on our toes again and lift our arms up over our head, okay? So we're going to take a big breath in. Lift our arms up overhead and come up onto our toes. And then come back down. So if I move a bit further away, maybe you can see me a bit better. Breathing in, arms coming up. Up on those toes. Ooh. And breathing down and coming back down. We'll do that once more. Breathing in, arms up all the way. Coming back down. Well done. So give those legs a shake. Right there. So coming onto the floor, you quickly grab a little ball. Okay. I have a ball. And we're going to roll the balls under your foot. So if you've got a tennis ball or anything hard to roll under your feet, because what we're doing is we're massaging the bottom of our feet. And sometimes these bits here get quite tight. And this is really good for relaxing that tension. So get your ball. You can do it on this, you can do it sitting down, or you can do it standing up. It's entirely up to you. Let me move that foot. So we're going to roll that ball under your foot. Back and forth. Don't worry if it all slides away. And the harder you push down, the better it is at getting rid of any tension in your foot. That's it. And you can focus on your heel. You can bring it forward, keep it up on your toe, 
gently roll it back and forth. And if doing it in the arch of your foot is really good, because that's often where we do get a lot of tension. Let's just rock back and forth there. Well done. And then when we've done the one side, you know, you know what's coming next. We have to do the other side. So swap feet. Let's pop it under the other foot. And gently roll. This is really good. I know this is something that all the support workers really enjoy when we do this, don't they? Because this is really good at getting rid of any tension under your foot. Well done. So you can focus on the, the toes and at the heels and back as well. So push down hard, get rid of any pressure. It's really good. And then coming back. Well done. It might feel a little bit painful, particularly if you do have lots of tension in your foot, but that's really good because it's helping to get rid of um, the tension and helping the, the foot to relax just a little bit more. And then take that out and give those feet a shake. Right then, so we're gonna get these toes working a little bit more. I'm gonna use my squeaky duck, but whatever you've got at home, okay? So, I don't know if you can see him. He's bright and yellow, but he's only little. So, I'm gonna put him at one side of the mat by my one foot. I'm gonna use your toes, or my toes. I haven't tried him, so I don't know if he works. He's not very pickable, lickable with my toes, I'm afraid. Ah, oh. The aim is, ah, I got him. Pick him up with your toes. Take him to the other side of the mat. And put him down. And the same with the other foot, using your toes again. He's not having it, I'm afraid. Ah, got him. And bring him over to the other side. Lovely. Now I know some of you find that a little tricky. And I know some of you have invented your own way of doing this, and that's perfectly fine. So the other way that you can do is get both your feet. Wrap it round, whatever it is. Ta-da! And take it across and put it down the other side. So we'll try that. Oh, pick it up like a pincer movement. And then put it down the other side. Brilliant stuff. Okay. And we'll do it once more. See, it isn't easy this, it isn't easy. It's all getting a lot of coordination and balance. And back over. Well done. <laughs> well done everyone if you did that. Brilliant work. So now that we've got our feet all worked out, we've got some those muscles all relaxed and stretched. We're going to do some balancing yoga poses. So if you if you can stand up, or we can do some of the poses in the chair if you're if you prefer to sit in the chair for these. Okay. So we're going to start off standing up with our tree. Oh. So if you need a chair next to you, use a chair, or if you've got a shelf anything to help you balance. If you're in the chair, just as you're sitting down, bring one leg up to the side of the opposite leg. So you can still do the tree, okay? But if you're standing, like me, I want you to take a breath in, hands on your side, and lift one foot up. Now it can be just at the ankle, or it could be a little higher. Hold on to something if you need to, but we're getting that balance. 
And if you're feeling really strong and balanced, lift those arms up, nice and tall. And then bring those arms down. Lovely, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit to the other side. Okay. So for the other side, we're going to put the other leg firmly on the floor. Breathe in. See, I'm getting too eager now. Breathe in, hands on your waist. Get nice and strong and firm and then lift the leg up. Okay. Hold on to anything that you need to hold on to. If you're feeling strong, breathe in, lift those arms up. Well done. And then bring those arms back down. Well done. Give those legs a shake. Now we're going to do our aeroplane. So again, use a chair or use a shelf, a window ledge. Um, for balancing. So for aeroplane, we're going to lean on top half forward and take one leg out the back. Okay, our arms will come wide or one arm will come wide and one arm will hold on to wherever you are. So we'll stand on our right leg first of all, lean forward, take the left leg out the back. Hold on to the shelf if you need to. Okay, or the chair. And take one arm out the side. This is a really strong balance. Now, if you're feeling really brave and really strong, see if you can take two arms out. Well done, everyone. And then bring that arm back onto the side, breathe in, come back up. Well done. Okay. So let's do the other side as well. This time, our left leg firmly on the floor. So make sure you've got a really good um, centre of balance with that left foot. Breathe in, pull in our tummy and lean forward. So hold on to whatever you need to and lift that right leg up. Yeah, well done. If you're feeling really brave and balanced, you can take the arm out as well. Ooh. Not today for me, not this side. Oops. And then come back down. <laughs> See, we all have problems with our balance sometimes. Well done, everyone. So we'll come onto um, our hands and knees. Okay, let me adjust the camera. And we will do, that's it, sorry. Another, another balance. So this one is testing our balance in our core, in the middle of our bodies. So with your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, I want you to take one leg out the back. So we're balancing on one, on one knee. Well done everyone. Now see if you can take the opposite arm out, okay? So it isn't the same side of the body, it's the, it's the other side of the body. So it's on a diagonal. Well done, if you're doing that, and then bring that, that hand, that knee back down. And then we'll do the other side. So the left leg out the back. Let's get that balance there first of all. Well done. And then take the other arm out. And just see how you get on. Don't worry if you wobble a little or if you fall out. Come back in and try again. This is tough. This is really tough. And bring that hand back down. And that knee back down. Well done. So let's do a few cat and cows, is it? I know you like cat cow, so let's dip our belly and look up. And then push the back up. Get frightened cat, really arch that back. And once more, 
dip in your belly and the pizza. And arching the back and coming back up into cat. Lovely, well done. So come onto your hands and knees. And it's time for a little bit of relaxation. So get yourselves lovely and comfortable wherever you are. So you can lie on the floor, on the sofa, on the chair. Just get yourselves comfortable. If you've got something pop over your eyes, lovely. And wrap yourself up in a little blanket if you want, just to keep warm, okay? So we'll do a couple of minutes relaxation. For those who haven't joined us before, at the end of relaxation, I'll, I'll um, make a little sound with these bells. And then I'll say to start waking up. Okay. So getting ourselves lovely and comfortable, first of all. And let's wrap ourselves up warm, wherever you are, putting your socks on, a jumper on or your blanket and get yourselves comfortable. I want to take some big breath in and out. And again, big breath in and out. And once more, big breath in and out. And I want you to think about how your body feels at the moment after doing all those exercises on your face and your, your head and on your, your toes and your feet. Why don't you notice if they feel any different? And I want you to relax. I want you to forget about everything else that's going on, anything that's worrying you. I want you to just put those to the side at the minute to just think about being calm, being relaxed and enjoying so lying on the mat, nice and toasty and warm and safe. Because you're all safe. And this is the time for you to relax. I want you to notice the sounds in your house or wherever you are. You may hear the birds singing. You might hear the rain. I can hear the rain this morning. But know that you're all snuggly and warm underneath that blanket. And we're going to relax the body from our toes all the way to the tops of the head. So our toes, the bottom of our feet, our heels and our ankles are all relaxed. The lower part of our legs, our knees, and the tops of our legs are all relaxed. The hips, tummy, and the chest are all relaxed. Muscles in the shoulders, arms, hands and fingers are all relaxed. The neck and the muscles in the face are all relaxed. The lips, nose, eyes, ears and cheeks are all relaxed. The forehead, top of the head and back of the head are all relaxed. The back of the body, the whole of the body are all relaxed. And I want you to enjoy the relaxation for a couple of more minutes and enjoy the silence.
Okay everyone, it's time to start to wake up. Start to wriggle your fingers and your toes. And take a big breath in and out. Stretch your body if you want to. Get your arms up overhead as if you're having a big stretch, waking up in the morning after a good night's sleep. And really start to waken the body up. For those who may still be in a little bit of a, a sleep, and maybe let's snore in just a little bit. It's time to wake up. A little bit of a stretch, start to wake up and start to come around. I'll just come a bit closer to you. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, it's a part of the body that we don't work on that often. And next time, I'll, um, I'll bring in one of our yoga games and we'll give that a go. So, um, well done today. Well done. Really pleased. It's lovely to see you all. Take care. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thank you.